Hello, sixth graders. This is Mrs. Abriani here to explain to you the English 6A Unit 4 activity instructions um, on the persuasive writing assignment. First, make sure you save this activity in your drive. You go to the class, download the instructions, and save it to your drive. Very important. And you will record your answers, which I will walk you through in this video. Uh, in that document that you've just saved to your drive. Okay, it starts off in this activity. Your task is to create an advertisement on a topic or product using the elements of persuasion that you learned in this unit. The project you turn in can be either hand drawn, it could be a Word document, or it could be a PowerPoint slide. Since it's an advertisement, it should be colorful and catchy. And here are some examples. A water advertisement, bottled water. Um, a plumber advertisement for a plumber. And an advertisement talking about a social issue, uh, advocating for handicapped people's uh, rights and awareness of their needs. You're gonna create an advertisement like one of these. Step one. Uh, in your instructions, it'll say click here for a how-to on argumentative and persuasive writing. So it's a short video. It kind of goes over how to persuade people. And here's some highlights I just put in this slide here. An argument essay, which is kind of like what you're doing in this advertisement. You're not writing an essay, though. Uh, it persuades your reader to make a change, okay? It gives evidence to support whatever claim you're making. Okay, so keep those two things in mind. You're gonna be creating an advertisement that persuades people to make a change or uh, that has evidence to support some claim that you're making. Okay, let's proceed. It'll make more sense as we go. Step two, identify the topic you'd like to uh, make your ad about. So these topics could include social issues, poverty, poverty, disease, equality. It could include consumer goods, foods, certain clothing, certain cell phones you, that you like, or, you know, different techie items. Or it could be for services like cleaning, repairs, or specialists, okay? And here's an advertisement for the cleaning service called Merry Maids. You decide, this is the biggest thing you have to do, is decide on your topic. What is your advertisement going to be for? Step three, now that you've identified a general topic, you have to narrow it down to a specific cause, okay? My advertisement will be about, so for example, it could be about vaping. Well, not just vaping, but the dangers of vaping, okay? So here's where we're getting more specific. Maybe your advertisement will be about getting your dog or cat fixed, okay? Um, spaying or neutering your dog or cat and the importance of that, why you should do it. Um, maybe it'll be, uh, maybe you mow lawns and your neighbors pay you. Um, so your advertisement could be about why you should hire me to mow your lawn, okay? So you're going to take a certain angle on your topic and persuade the person to do it. So step three, you're gonna write down kind of that angle you're taking. Contact your teacher if you need more ideas. Once you've done that, step four, you're really gonna dig in deep and you're ready to begin brainstorming what your advertisement's gonna look like. Um, and so here's some of the questions to think about as you're designing your advertisement. Who is your target audience? Okay, so who is going to buy your product or your service? Or who do you want to create awareness uh, for about spaying dogs or whatnot? Okay, what type of person is most likely to want to buy your product or service? Think about that. Also, what's persuasive techniques will you include in your ad, okay? Maybe you're going to use facts to convince people to do whatever it is you want them to do. Maybe you're gonna play on their emotions. You're gonna persuade them about all the bad things that could happen if you don't 
buy your product or do the thing you need them to do. Maybe you use fear. There's a lot in the news about the dangers of vaping. People's lungs are collapsing. You, that's a way to get people to be afraid of vaping. And that's one way to persuade people is with fear. Okay. Um, there's other techniques. Ask your teacher if you need more help. Um, also think about what three selling points you'll include in your ad um, for your target market. What qualities of the product or aspects of the issue are you going to point out specifically? Okay, so here's some examples. Best prices, top brands, good service, reputation, convenience. Okay, so those are selling points. Think about what it is about your product that is um, specifically good for the consumer. Other things to consider, what images are you going to use? Okay, are they going to be simple like these images? Or are they going to be more complex? Are they going to have people in them? Are they not going to have people in them? Okay, search Google for all sorts of images and your teacher can help you with that too. Think about what is your headline or slogan going to be? So down here are more slogans. Just do it. We all know Nikes. Burger King, have it your way, right? That means you can change the burger however you want. That's a selling point in the slogan. Sprite, obey your thirst. Like, don't deny yourself, right? Um, so are you going to have a quick little tagline or slogan like that? Maybe not, and that's fine. But think about it. Also, think ahead to your final product. Do you believe your advertisement would be effective enough? So consider all these different aspects as you're brainstorming and playing around. Maybe you're drawing on paper some ideas, um, or maybe you're playing around with some Google images you found online um, in, a, in, a, in a PowerPoint slide. Either way, just start thinking about these important aspects of an advertisement. Step five, once you've thought about your ad, it's time to create it. And here's an example here. Jim's Lawn Mowing Service. Rain or shine, I'll come on a dime. Affordable prices, reliable service, edging and weeding included. Okay, so here's an example of a student-created advertisement. You can see they included a slogan. Rain or shine, I'll come on a dime. They included facts about their services. They don't charge extra for weeding. Um, here's some selling points over here. Affordable prices, reliable service, right? It gives you the idea that they come on time. They use a cute image of a kid. Now, that's obviously not really Jim, but it gets your attention. It maybe appeals to parents who have kids that reminds them of their kid, or it's just kind of funny. Um, and then it has the contact information here. So this ad is an example. It took into account a lot of those things we talked about in step four. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And so your job is to come up with something like this. This was done on a Google slide. If you want to do that yourself, here's a video um, that will help you. I can send this to you if you're interested, okay? A Google slide um, tutorial. it will show you how to use Google slides, but I can also help you as well. So once you finished your um, advertisement and you've also filled out that instruction page, uh, you will turn both of those two things in. Okay, so that's step four. You are answering the A through F little um, things to consider while brainstorming your ad. And then you actually created your advertisement. So those two things should be uploaded to the assignment in your English class. And um, if you need help with that, please contact me or your teacher. You could always email it to me if you need to, if you have trouble with Play-Doh. But that's it. It's a fun, creative activity. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need help. And uh, it's meant to, to really enjoy yourself. Good luck, and let me know if I can help. Bye-bye.